Alright guys, I've got a little segment here on how to catch fuck all, even with all the gear. I'd like to point out the fact that I've um, finally figured out how to use that. Thanks to um, a good bloke at the fishing shop. So anyways, let's have a look at what I've got going on here. Right, so as you can see there, there's a big hole. Apparently lots of snapper in there. But, uh, I dare say that now that I've figured out how to use my buddy, fish finder, put all the fish and bugger off somewhere else I'd say. I haven't even got bait yet so I've got a little soft plastic on, magic sexy scent. Found the um, big hole, so I'm going to have a flick in there. I'm going to turn the jet ski off so that we're uh, nice and quiet, even though I'm in the middle of a channel here, but it should be all good. And yeah, start flicking and see how I go. Right, well, no surprises, didn't bloody catch anything. So uh, now what I'm gonna do, right over there, instead of using the uh, electronic devices, I'm gonna think like a fish. There's lots of little rocks and stuff to hide in, so I'll have a crack over there. All right, well, no surprises that I didn't even get a bloody sniff of a fish. So rod's packed up. It's time to go cook some brekkie. And then I think I'll wait and go get some bait and have a proper crack. Right, we're getting serious now. We've got the um, old cast net out. We're gonna have a bit of a throw of that because apparently there's nothing more than fish love than fresh little fish. Here we go. All right, well, apparently uh, I no longer remember how to throw a cast net. Uh, had a bit of an audience over there. It got rather embarrassing and packed it up in disgust and yeah, off to the bait shop now put me a uh, crab pot out so I'll grab some bait for that too and uh, here fishy fishy right I haven't quite given up on the fresh bait yet uh, got stuff for, well, from the bait shop for me snapper fishing but now I'm gonna go pump a few yabbies and try for some whiting as well this um this I can actually manage all right well uh, my fishing is um officially reached a point of fucking ridiculous like legit cannot even get a yabby i don't know what the go is with that pretty stoked i didn't buy uh any prawns at the bait shop thinking that i'd have no dramas getting yabbies but anyway so i'm out here in the broad water i'm uh forgetting about the fish for just a little bit i've uh just set up my crab pot which i can confirm is a wee bit of a challenge sitting on a jet ski doing all that but anyways fun. Um, been in to see uh, the local tackle shop um, here, Doug Burt's Tackle World. He's uh, pretty in the know how. I've got this thing going everywhere. But anyways, so yeah, I'm actually having my first crack at trying for sandies instead of muddies. And um, given the fact that I've figured out how to use my um, fish finder, so with all the advice I've been given, I'll just flip the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't really know if you can see it on the video, but um, it's a very obvious sandbank there. And um, good old Dougie, he's told me that don't put your pot up on the sandbank, you'll only get female, female crabs and juveniles. So I've got to drop it just down in the deep water. I can pretty obviously see it with my own eyes, but I've got my fish finder out, see that shit? tells you where the drop-offs are and no it doesn't tell, hasn't told me if there's any fish there yet but anyways using that and my eyeballs to make sure I get my crab pot in the right spot. Got the mallet chopped up in there and uh yeah I don't know what we'll call we'll call them sandy instead of muddy a morton sorry hopefully we'll get a sandy but oh, here goes nothing First drop of the crab pot off the jet ski. This is uh, no brown snakes out here like the last time I had to drop it. Now we've got someone fanging. Probably going to get tipped over in a second. Right, I can clearly see the edge of the sandbank. So I know it's going to go in the right spot. Right, there we go. Right, 
right now it's off to the uh, on water survey to go buy some prawns. Seems I couldn't get any stinking yabbies. And uh, yeah, snapper and whiting. Let's do this. I don't know, well I'm out here having another crack. The tide time's just right. I've um, got actual bait instead of plastics or lures. I'm doing a bit of wider fi whiting fishing at the moment. Just, just so everyone knows that I'm not completely clueless. I still can't figure out why I don't catch fish with all my knowledge, but I'm just drip, drifting over, you, know, you can't see, but drifting over nice shallow sandbanks. I'm actually getting a couple of bites. So anyways, I'm gonna give this a crack for a while and there's another few around that side. And then right at the perfect time, I'm going back to my snapper hole and ripping out some pillies. Like, honestly, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will, because it's, the weather's not even that bad. So it's my day. It's got to be my day. I told you, didn't I? It's my bloody day. It's a whiting. I think he might. Oh, I'm going to have to Google how big he needs to be. I'll pop him back in the water. But I think he might be just a smidgy small. Right, totally pumped to say legal size. So he's uh, in the esky, he had to do the which doesn't make me very happy. But anyways, I'm going for another drift because um, one whiting's not really much of a meal. So we've uh, got to make a feast of this. What, what, finally got an edible keeping fish. In a sunset, fishing and tunes. Settle yourself down, Baz. Doesn't really get any better. We're on for a bit of a sunset snapper fishing now. Just uh, going to enjoy this moment for a little bit and then uh, turn the magic fish finder on or depth sound or whatever. Hopefully, uh, get a snapper to put with my uh, whiting. All right, decided to go with uh, one more cast after the sun went, went down and get a load of this stonker. Literally, as I got him on the ski, he spat the hook. What? But I've got him. Yoot, yoot. Massive snapper. Finally. Well, I think that uh, vouches for changing the name of this segment to not catching fuck all with all the gear, but having all the gear and catching stonkers. Biggest snapper I've ever seen. What? What? All right, well, due to the fact that uh, I'm not used to dealing with this situation, I've got no uh, filleting knife or scaling devices whatsoever. So we've got to get the guts out of these bad boys and then head into the fish shop tomorrow, which is not far from here, and going to request that they fill it them for me. Seriously, that snapper. What? So bloody huge. All right, well, my uh, jet skiing and fishing adventure has ended in true hand style. There's a um, huge storm coming. It's actually over there, lightning and shit. So I'd been out to get bait and whatever, ready to go to my snapper hole again. Went to retrieve my crab pot, it's gone. Don't know what's happened to that. So yeah, I've uh, had to make a mad dash to load up. Load it up like shit, it's just all slapped on there. So cruising back nice and slow and hopefully I can get all of this out and back in the car before uh, this massive storm hits. But. You know what? 49 centimetre snapper and a whiting, so who cares? It's been awesome. Yeah, so I officially didn't make it before the storm. So now I've got all this uh, wet, soggy mess to unpack. And it's going in the commie, not even shaz, so not ideal. Yeah, well, uh, didn't quite make it back in time. But anyways, everything's loaded in the car, even if it is all wet. 
I'm drenched and uh, yeah, just figure out where I'm gonna sleep tonight now.